though you have been waiting patiently and we are so happy to say that our new ink colors are finally here, I have a ton to share with you today. So how about we get right to it? So before we get into all of the new uh, ink colors and color families, let's take a look at the long awaited ink cube holders that we, we sneak peeked a while ago when you guys were so excited about them. And we are so excited that they are now available and ready for purchase. So first things first, let's take a look at the 48 piece ink cube holder. So this guy holds 48 ink cubes, standard sized ink cubes. It's got this lovely zipper element for keeping it closed. And then when you open it, you have this nice soft fabric that is snapped in their little dividers. And basically they keep all of your inks in place. Now, even though these are arranged in a line, they're very, very easy to remove from the ink cube holder because there is that little divider underneath there. So it's really easy to grab the ink cube that you need. So then of course you can uh, store them in however, whatever order you want. I keep mine in rainbow order. Um, and so you've got just a great place to uh, store your ink cubes. These are easy to grab if you're on the go or wanting to go to like a craft night or a crop or something along those lines. They also fit really well into drawers or carts. Um, and they also look really pretty um, sitting on your desk or a shelf. So they're not only versatile, they're not only a great storage piece, but they're also beautiful as well. So that first ink cube holder I showed you holds 48, which is our original number of colors. Now, this one is our 72 piece holder. It's just a little bit longer uh, in order to accommodate for those 24 extra colors. And this is the one that will hold all of our colors. So we are going from 48 to 72 colors now, uh, minus calico white and detail black. Those are not included. This will hold all of our original premium dye ink colors. So you've got the zippered closure, which is really stunning, which then opens it up and you have got the same fabric dividers on each side that are also snapped in. So when you go ahead and open it up, you've got a place for all of your inks. So let's go ahead and uh, arrange our new inks where they go in the rainbow. I'll go over this again when we go over each of the colors, but I figure a little bit of repetition will help get you a little bit more familiar. So we're going to start with the new shade of paint. This is Rose Garden, and it finds its place in between Fairy Dust, which is our original shade of pinks, and Heartbeat, which is our original shade of reds. Now up next, is Chasing Sunsets. This is our new shade of orange. Uh, they, this set of orange, excuse me, um, fits in between Heartbeat, uh, which is our reds, and Indian Summer, which is our current shade of oranges. So as you can see, you've got just a really lovely gradation going here. Now up next, is Weeping Willow. This is our kind of yellow green or what we would consider a citron color family. We even named one of the inks citron. So this color family fits in between our original yellows, which is uh, the Rise and Shine color family, um, with our first set of greens, which is called um, Over the Hills. So then we have our garden stroll set of greens here as well. So you've got a couple of greens that are part of our original release right after the set of Weeping Willow. So this side looking pretty good. Let's close it up and let's take a look at the other side. So we've got our next side. So you'll see here is where our next set of colors comes in. This is our third set of greens. So this is called Green Gables. What we feel about Green Gables, it's just a little bit more muted 
and elegant shades of green and really finishes off those uh, previous greens you just saw. Now, up next is our Amalfi Coast. This is our lovely set of turquoise inks. Where this falls in line is right after our color family of aquas, which are known as Island Oasis. That's the color family. And it is right before the start of our blues. So look at this like fantastic gradient we have going on here. We've got just one more set to fill in here, and that is our newest shades of purple. This set is called Napa Valley. It fits in right after our current set of purples, which we call Soul of Province. And look how that fits. And then it's just right before our grays and our browns. These you can flip flop however you prefer. So this finishes out that lovely rainbow and we have just a fantastic gradient of purples. So here is that more complete Infra Studio rainbow that we are just so very excited about. You've got the start ranging from your pinks to your greens. And then finishing up with the final part of our greens all the way through our purples into our grays and our reds. So up first, let's take a look at our new set of pinks. This color family is called Rose Garden. And like all of our color families, it has four shades from light to dark. Now, this color family sits in between our current set of pinks, which is called fairy dust, and then our reds, which are called heartbeat. Now, I like to think that these pinks have a little bit of sophistication added to them. They're a little bit warmer toned than our current shade of pinks. And they're just that really, excuse me, they're a really lovely transition in between our original pinks and our original reds. Now, we of course have offered them in shades of light to dark. So the way that this starts out is cherry blossom is the lightest. Up next is peony. The third color is begonia. And then finally we have mulberry bush. Blush, <laughs> sorry. Um, they are available in full size ink pads. They're available in a set of the four colors in ink cubes. And then they are also available in ink refills, which I don't quite yet have in my office. So let's take a look at a couple of cards. Here is a really lovely floral card that I've created. Um, you'll see that the pinks are the main flowers here. And then you'll also get to take a look at our new set of oranges and our new set of more citrony yellows um, on this card as well. And you'll see those colors here momentarily. Let's also take a look at this card. Here I used just a couple of pinks on this card here and then uh, paired them with one of our greens that you will see here in just a little bit. Next is Chasing Sunsets. I think this is the color family that I am most in love with in our new set of inks. Uh, the verdict is still out if uh, one particular color in this release is going to replace my current favorite color. But I will say that this um, set is one of my favorites. I just love these oranges. They have a little bit more of a coral feel to them. So the way or the area that these currently fit in the Pink Rush Studio Rainbow is in between our current set of oranges, which are a little bit more, or excuse me, in between our current set of reds and our current set of oranges, which are more of a classic orange. So this is a really trans lovely transition or fade in between those reds and those classic oranges. The way that the lineup works on this set is you start with Sunkissed, you move up to Mimosa, Next is Mango Sorbet, and then the darkest is Fruit Punch. Of course, we also have the set of ink cubes and ink refills as well. 
Now here, let's take a look at this card right here. I made this card live a couple of weeks ago when we did our combined sneak peek. You'll see that the flowers in here are a combination of our new oranges and our new pinks. And then we've also got some of our new greens in here. And then let's also take a look at this fun slim line. And I've got just a couple of the oranges that I used on the main flowers on this one. So up next is our latest shade of yellows. Now these are definitely more of a yellow green than just a, a standard yellow. They fit in between our current set of yellows, which are called Rise and Shine, which definitely are very classic yellows, and then the start of our, our set of greens. So you'll see they have this lovely citron look to them. I mean, we even named one of them that. And that was something that we felt we had a gap in Rainbow of Colors. So we're really thrilled with how this uh, color family turned out. So when you, uh, the way that this one works is you start at Lemoncello, you move on to Citron, up next is Bay Leaf, and then finally the darkest is Spanish Moss. We have the cubes and ink refills as well. Now you've already seen this card, but I wanted to showcase uh, that the leaves are blended in Citron on this card, and they are also blended in citron on this one as well. These leaves were a little bit bigger, so you got to see a little bit more of those colors coming through on this card. Now up next is Green Gables. This is our newest set of greens. This is technically our third set of greens we offer. Um, the way where this fits is it's just at the end of the greens. We are feeling like for now, this is finishing up those greens we have. We currently have really lovely uh, greens, but we thought we needed a little bit more of that muted tone where the sage and the eucalyptus come in. So we are feeling like our greens feel a little bit more complete. This one finishes out the greens. So this is at the very end of our greens before you jump into those aquas. And the way that the this family lines up is you start with sage, you move up to eucalyptus, next is spruce tips, and then fit, uh, finishing it out with lush forest. Of course there's ink cubes and an ink refill. Now you've seen this card but I just wanted to show it again because I did um, ink blend the leaves in these greens. And then you've also seen this card as well, but I finished off this fun leaf with uh, one of the greens in this color family too. And it just really helped finish bringing that detailed leaf to life. So next we have our Amalfi Coast color family. This is just a really lovely set of turquoise. Where it falls in line in our current rainbow is right after our set of aquas, which are known as Island Oasis, and right before you start our uh, two sets of blue. So while our aquas have that bluish green tone to them, while these ones still kind of fit in that aqua turquoise area, these ones just have a little bit more of a blue tone to them. So we think with the aquas and then, of course, these more turquoise based colors, we've got a really lovely mix in that um, color gradient. So the way that this one lines up is you start with waterfall, you move up to turquoise, next is paradise, and finally is Atlantis. Once again, we've got the ink cubes and the ink refills as well. Now here is a card using these inks. Um, I also used the Citron family on this one. Now this is not, this is a panel I had already had um, ink blended and it just hadn't worked out for a different card. So this is not a new ink color, but I wanted to show how lovely uh, these new, new uh, blues or turquoises mixed with what I believe is sky blue. So just to show 
that these are really going to mix and match beautifully with all of our current set of 48 inks as well. Now let's take a look at this card as well. Um, I did the greenery in those uh, these turquoise shades and then of course the flowers are in our new shades of pink. And then finally, we have our last color family, our last new color family, that is our latest shade of purples. So these fall right after our current purples, which our current purples are, they have just a little bit more of a pink tone to them. So these are a little bit more muted. These are a little bit more elegant um, and they have uh, less of that pink undertone in them. So um, this set is called Napa Valley and the way that the colors start and end are you start with sheer freesia, you move up to wisteria, next is hydrangea, and finally is opulence. Of course we have the ink cubes and the ink refill. Now I just realized I haven't actually completed a card using these but I have blended some pieces with them so I'm just going to show you those pieces right now so you can see how they look. As you can tell they are uh, a little bit more elegant and a little bit more sophisticated than our current purples. I think they're like a fantastic fit in with those purples. And now you have just a really great broad range of different types of purples um, available in your Pink Rush Studio inks. Here's another floral piece that I've blended with all of the different inks. So this is, I mean, this isn't every color family, but this is a lot of them. You see the purples kind of in those smaller flowers on the side. You've got our new sets of oranges, our new sets of pinks, and then these are our newest set of greens. And then finally, just a couple more. Um, these are just some individual um, flowers that I have blended using these, oops, using these new purples. So those are all six sets of our new color families. Um, we're going to take a look at some um, more samples here, and then we're going to give you more information about all of the giveaways and everything going on within this uh, fantastic release. And then one final thing to share is we do have our new Calico White Pigment Ink. We are excited to introduce a pigment ink into our family. The cases are always a little harder to open when you first get them. Um, we don't have a, this is our first pigment ink. We thought that Calico White would be awesome for stamping sentiments, opaque sentiments on darker color cardstock. We also thought that this would be really fantastic for ink blending into your cards, ink blending on craft cardstock, ink blending on darker cardstock, or even just using the white to add detail and lighter areas into our current set of colors. So we also have the Calico White Pigment Ink as part of this release as well. So that is our entire ink release. We've got 24 new premium dye ink colors. We've also got our Calico White Pigment Ink, along with our two fantastic ink cube holders. Now we have a blog hop going on. There are tons of prizes everywhere, which uh, you can find all of those details in the blog hop, which will be linked in the video description below. Now, we do have two prizes up for grabs here on this YouTube video as well. We are offering up two $100 gift card codes to two lucky winners, all you have to do is let us know in the comments below what your favorite color families are from this new release. And keep in mind, I didn't say you had to pick just one. We hope.